you guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to a video all about what i'm getting my family for christmas so first of all matt if you're watching this no spoilers go click elsewhere this video is not for you um sneak peek I have quite the haul because I've been saving my Amazon points up all year so I could like go big for Christmas, which is really exciting. So I'm really excited to share it with you all. I thought it was a fun alternative to doing like a gift guide because I feel like there are so many gift guides out there for the holidays and it can be kind of overwhelming and sometimes repetitive. So instead of doing a bunch of gift guides for all the people, I'm just gonna show you guys what I actually got for my family. So I guess you could consider this a like toddler boy, baby girl, husband gift guide conglomerate. <laughs> so I think I'll start with Miss Junie Mae. I didn't get her too much for Christmas because she has no idea what's going on, but I did get her a few things because I couldn't resist. The first is this gorgeous rocker. Let me take everything off it so you can see. So first glance, what do you think it is? If you said the Charlie Crane Levo rocker, that is not correct, but it looks just like it. I'm so excited about it. It's such a good dupe. I love the look of the Charlie Crane one, but it's like $300 and then it's not in the budget. So I found this one on Amazon for a hundred or actually under a hundred because I think it was like 15% off when I bought it. So it was like 85 bucks and it's so cool. It's got the same kind of like canvasy pad to it. The only big difference is that this one has like an adjustable back here. So you can actually like lift it up and put the bar in this slot here and it can be a toddler chair. So Rowan can use this too it's got a super heavy weight limit it's like over 100 pounds I think and I overall just thought it was a really really good buy I was very very excited about it and it is like I intended it to be a Christmas gift but I am very impatient and I wanted to put it out so I didn't like wait to give it to her until Christmas um because like I said she has no idea what's going on so it's already out in our living room and we've been using it and 10 out of 10 so far we really adore it the next thing I guess I can't really say that I bought this for her because I actually made it which I'm so proud of is this little bear. I wanted to get her a little stuffed animal for Christmas, but all the ones that I saw online were really expensive. And I was like, it couldn't be that hard to make one myself. So I found this pattern on Etsy. It's by a maker called O Albatross. That's like her store name. And then I adapted the little strawberry embroidery from a pattern by Why Not Stitching. Put a little J on it. It's made out of linen. So cute. And of course, I couldn't make one of these for her without also making one for Rowan. So, Rowan's getting this sweet little fuzzy one with a bow tie. This is so soft. Very, very excited about it. These were like less than $10 to make, I think, for both of them. So, that was a win and it was really fun for me to make. Juniper's other little stocking stuffer is this little teething crinkle book. I got this at Carter's on Black Friday and it was like $5, I think. So I thought it was a cute little pattern with a little fruit on it. So that will go in her stocking as well. This is like exactly where she is developmentally, that she likes things that crinkle and rattle and she's teething. So I thought this would be perfect. And then the fourth and final thing that I got her is an activity ring. And I can't show it to you guys because it hasn't come yet. But I'll pop a picture in right here. It's by this brand called Konja Slod. I think might be how you pronounce it. Honestly, I don't know. It's very uh, Scandinavian, but it's so, so cute. It's like strawberry themed, which if you've been around here for a while, you'll know. Strawberries are like my pregnancy craving. So I thought it was a cute little homage to that. And it's got a little plush strawberry on it, a little plush jar of jam, some teething rings and a little mirror. And I think it's just gonna be perfect to hang from her activity seat or to give her in her car seat when we're in the car. So I'm really excited about that. And hopefully it comes soon. Should I do Matt or Rowan next? You know what, Rowan has the most. So I think I'll save him for last. And I'll talk about the stuff that I got Matt first. So the first thing that I picked up for him on Black Friday at Macy's, I think, I'll link it below, cause I'm not entirely sure if it was like Macy's or Nordstrom, is this weatherproof vintage shacket. It's like a pretty blue flannel, but then the inside is lined with this fuzzy material. So it's super thick and warm. The arms are quilted on the inside. And I thought this would be perfect for him when he goes on like his property walks at work because he's a property manager. And so sometimes he has to like meet with landscaping people and like walk the grounds to talk about like what they're doing with landscaping and stuff. So he has to do that quite a bit. And I thought this would be really good. This was originally $90 and I got it on sale for 36. So that's pretty good. And I really like it. I just feel like it's really cozy. I also might steal this, we'll see. <laughs> this I am so excited about. This is Matt's like big Christmas present and it's from Gentle Bands. And I'm so excited because Gentle Bands is actually sponsoring today's video. I cannot tell you guys 
how excited I am to give this to him. So a little backstory, when Matt and I got married, we were like very poor <laughs> and his wedding ring that he's been wearing for the last five years was like $30 on Amazon. So I thought it was time for an upgrade and this company reached out to me and I was so obsessed with it. So first of all, it comes as this really cool little like black tin and says, good game, well played, which I thought was very on brand for my gamer husband. But look at how cool this wedding band is. It's got rose gold on the inside and the outside is Damascus steel with this cool pattern on it. I believe this one is called the Hydra and it's got like a really nice weight to it. You can tell it's really, really great quality. And I just thought that this like fit his personality. They have all kinds of like cool materials for their rings. So they have like meteorite and dinosaur bone and guitar strings and whiskey barrel. Um, but this one I got is the Damascus steel, which I guess is like what they make swords out of, Matt said. I don't know, he was excited about it. Um, and then the rose gold on the inside and it is so pretty. I definitely feel like this is much more him and I know he's gonna adore it. What I really love about gentle bands is that their rings have so much personality. So say your husband is like a musician, you could get him a ring that has a guitar string embedded into it. And they're so unique. I always kind of thought men's rings were like a little bit boring because it's like, you can choose from three different types of metal, hammered or not hammered. And like, that was it. But oh boy, like, Looking at the Gentleman's website, there are so many cool options. You can get ones that like glow. They're just so cool. All their materials are also sustainably gathered and they partner with like small family workshops and artisans to maintain really great product quality. They also offer hassle-free replacement, resizing or return. So if you're not 100% sure which one your guy would like, you can totally switch it out. And I just think that this is the perfect holiday gift for your spouse. So if you guys want to try out Gentle Bands, you can use code Megan25 and go to the link in my description for 25% off. I also got Matt a few like smaller stocking stuffer gifts that I don't physically have with me because I bought them on Black Friday, which was just a couple days ago and they haven't arrived yet, but I'm gonna tell you about them anyway because I swear guys are so hard to shop for. So the first thing I got him are these rechargeable magnetic hand warmers that also function as phone chargers. I thought these were super, super cool. They are very like sleek looking and you can just kind of put them in your pockets. And I think they last for like eight hours or something like that. And like I said, they also charge your phone. So again, for his property walks, I thought that would be a perfect fit for him. I also got him a sticker uh, for his computer or I don't know, whatever else he would want to use it for. That's a bandit from Bluey and it says, oh, biscuits on it because we are a Bluey family, as I'm sure you will see at some point. Um, and Rowan is always walking around going, oh, biscuits. <laughs> So I thought that was really cute and just a fun little stocking stuffer. And then the last thing I got him is this funky pop socket. I'm gonna look up the name of it because he actually sent this to me and he was like, hey, this would be a good Christmas gift. It's called O oh Snap and it's a pop socket that doesn't interfere with wireless charging. That's like super thin. It's like the width of a nickel. So you can still put it in your pocket or like put it in the mount in your car for like directions and it doesn't mess with it. So he was really excited about that. I grabbed that for him as well. So those are all of Matt's presents. Most of the rest of this is for Rowan. I went a little crazy for Rowan. Uh, this is the first year that he like really understands Christmas. And so I've been collecting things for him for Christmas for like six months. And then I went to get all of it out of my closet for this video and was like, oh, I overdid it. So he's gonna be a little spoiled this Christmas. It's fine. His like big present is this. This is an Ollie Ella Dinkum doll. This one is called Pumpkin, I believe. And it's like a soft sculptural doll. And I thought this would be so perfect for him because he has the uh, Dinkum doll, like the baby one, um, but its eyes are embroidered closed, like it's sleeping. And he's always asking it to wake up and open its eyes. And obviously I can't do that. So I got him the bigger one. And this one has open eyes. And I really like this because if he grows out of it and Juniper wants a girl doll, you just like put its hair in little pigtails. Okay, well now it looks like Wolverine, but I promise if you put it in pigtails, it looks like a girl doll. I just thought this would be really good for pretend play for him. It was definitely more of a splurge. I did get it on sale, but uh, this was very cute. So I say that's his big present because that's what I'm the most excited about and it was what cost the most money, but I think he's gonna think that this is his big present. And this is a children's digital camera. It's the X2 Pro. It was $30 on Amazon. 
so cheap but he is always trying to use my camera because you know he sees me vlogging all the time and he wants to vlog you guys have probably seen it he wants to push the buttons he wants to take pictures he loves using my polaroid camera to take pictures as well so i thought this would be absolutely perfect for him this was absolutely an impulse buy i saw somebody's instagram reel about it and thought it was so cool and for under 30 dollars perfect so he i think is going to freak out over this and i think it's going to be his favorite thing but we'll see I mentioned we're a Bluey family earlier, so I did get him a couple of Bluey things. The first thing is this outfit. This is like the cutest, most aesthetic, like character set that I've ever seen. This was from Target and it was not very expensive. It's just got Bluey and Bingo on it. They only had this in 4T, so it probably won't fit him yet. Um, he'll just have to wear the t-shirt oversized and then the bottoms will fit him probably during the summer. But I thought that was really cute. And I think he is gonna be excited, at least that it's Bluey and Bingo, even if like clothes aren't super exciting to a two-year-old right now. Another thing that I got him that I don't have with me, again, because it's on its way, sorry, it's not like a broken record, is the Bluey garbage truck. This was on sale at Target for Black Friday for $16, and he plays with it every single time we go to Target. Like, he asks to go to the aisle with the Bluey toys so we can play with this garbage truck because it's got, like, a little lever and an actual, like, what you would call, it, like, the arm that comes down and picks up the trash cans. So you can actually pick up the little toy trash cans and, like, use the lever to dump them in, and he thinks that's the coolest thing in the world. Uh, but you can't do it properly when it's, like, in the box at Target, so... I caved that I bought it for him. We do already have a garbage truck for him. I think I'm gonna send it over to Nam and Pop's house so he can play with it over there. He's really gonna be excited about the bluey one, I think. Speaking of trucks, I also got him this Tonka truck. This is a trencher, apparently. Um, so it's got like big scooper and a little scooper. I don't know construction terms, but he really likes construction vehicles. So I know he's going to be really excited about this. He has a big dump truck already that he plays with all the time, but he specifically loves construction vehicles that have like this scooper thing. So this was really inexpensive on Amazon as well. I want to say it was like under $15 on sale. So my little man, his little trucks. <laughs> last truck themed item is this puzzle. I got this at Carter's as well for $5 and it is a magnetic puzzle. And the really cool thing about this is that it's got like a crane on it and the crane has this little attachment with a magnet on the bottom and all the rest of the puzzle pieces have little magnets embedded into them. So you can pick them up with the crane and put them in the right places. So obviously because there are small parts, I'll be very careful about supervising him when he uses this, but I thought it was really fun and a different take on a puzzle. Then because I am a little bit of a hippie, scrunchy mom, I did have to get him some wooden toys. So the first one I got him is this little toaster for his play kitchen. It comes with a little jar of strawberry jam and some toast and butter and cheese and a little knife and I don't know, we play with the play kitchen a lot, so I thought this was really fun. This was just from Amazon. The brand is Tokyo Land. Tiny toaster, so cute. It's gonna look so cute in this play kitchen too, because you know we're all about the aesthetics. And again, this one's kind of for mommy, because when I got pregnant, I was always like, I really want like one of those wooden Waldorf rainbow things. I think it's Waldorf. Is it Waldorf or Montessori? I feel like it's Waldorf, but they are really expensive from like the kids boutiques. They're like 50, 60 bucks. So I found this one at Home Goods for $17 and I immediately picked it up. Uh, he might be a little past this developmentally. I don't know, we'll see it. If nothing else, Juniper will use it when she's old enough, but I just thought it would look really cute in the playroom. So that's like kind of for him, kind of for me. <laughs> the last thing I actually have physically with me is for his stocking and it's this Resilient Roots Montessori knife. So I should have gotten this for him like a year ago, but you know what, better late than never. It's basically just like a wooden kid's knife with the handle. You can't like cut yourself on it, but it is sharp enough to get through like most soft foods and he loves to cut things and he always wants to cut things with a knife which obviously is like not safe with a grown-up knife so this is going to be a really great alternative and it's a cute little rainbow and then very lastly for wooden toys and for everything in general coco village was having an insane black friday sale so i got him a little wooden laptop i'll pop a picture right up here it is the cutest thing and he loves to pretend he's working and he'll come into my office and like type on my keyboard and be like, I'm working on something, mommy. And the keys are a little puzzle as well. So you can take them out and then like put them back in like a puzzle. And it was like $15. So I couldn't resist. Also an impulse buy. And then also from Coco Village, I got him a little board book and I got Juniper a little soft book that I completely forgot about until just now. <laughs> so if you're looking for toys for your kids, I hope this gave you some good ideas. Again, everything will be linked down in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you a lot. I hope you're having a wonderful holiday season and I can't wait to see you again in my next video. Bye.